All right, hello everyone. I'm sitting here with first generation Latinx student Alex LeBoy. He's a communication student here at Marquette University. And Alex, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that you've had a few experiences with racial discrimination. Do you mind talking about those experiences? Of course, Jack. So um, a little bit about my background. Uh, I grew up on the south side of Milwaukee, which is uh, predominantly Hispanic, uh, Latino Americans. And when I grew up, I moved out to one of the suburbs. So I was in a different setting. And in my high school days, I had a couple of different events happen to me that kind of really opened my eyes a little bit more that uh, the South Side is not like everywhere else, that people will keep an eye on you or look at you differently. Uh, One of my first examples I had was probably about when I was 16 or 17 years old, um, when I would walk into a store at the mall called Pier One. Uh, I'd walk in by myself to, you know, buy my mom or whatever uh, gift. And I was always hounded very, very much. Like the first second I'd walk in, I'd get a, hi, like, do you need help looking for something? Do you need help? And it was very, the tone was not customer service. Like it was very like, what are you doing here? Like, like, are you looking for something specifically? And the one vivid time I remember, I walked in uh, with my girlfriend at the time. Uh, she was Caucasian. And when the lady asked, as usual, kind of snappy, like, what are you doing here? Like this or that. Um, my girlfriend kind of defended me, but looked at me and said, that doesn't happen when I walk in here or when my mom walks in here. Like, they're always very, very nice and opening, but that was just a very rude answer. And I was, and that kind of put me back a little bit. I was very, very shocked at how I could be like, just like put into that um, column of like, we should keep an eye on this person. Uh, there's been other times where I have been pre like a prejudice to I walk into a store and I will start immediately just getting like um, slowly like talking very spotty English is probably a good way to put it as if they don't know that I actually do speak English that is my first language that they only assume that I speak Spanish and to me it's sometimes that, that definitely gets irritating when I just want to, I just want to be asked like, oh, like, how are you doing today? How is this? But I have, but then I'm asked, are you okay? Are you this? And I'm just like, I can speak English. Like I like, I'm an American citizen and it's just, sometimes I, it, it does kind of pull at my strings wrongly when I just want to be assumed that I'm like everybody else and that I'm not different. I did. I uh, have to take a step back and kind of view how other people viewed me out in the suburbs. These incidents weren't uh, around my home, around my home place on the south side. These are going out into the suburbs of Milwaukee, such as uh, Greenfield, Greendale, um, that's on the south side, and then probably north by like Whitefish Bay and Shorewood. Uh, these same incidents have happened. Um, I would say that I, in college, I did have to assimilate and change my perception, my how people viewed me, and it kind of did make me feel a little that I couldn't be proud of what I was or who I am. That I did have to change how I talk and how I dress, and I would say that. Marquette University didn't do a didn't do that to me initially, but when I did first come to school, I realized that I would have to change some things about me in order to fit in better, um, both in school and in my community and in life.